Hello my friends. Today I wanted to share my experience using the new Maniology black and white peel off base coats. I started off with a calcium rich base coat and I'm just going to apply the peely base right on top of that. I alternated the colors on each finger in the name of science. I just wanted to be fair and see if either of them lasted longer than the other. The white isn't nearly as opaque as the black, and you can see it's a little bit streaky. So you can definitely get away with doing one coat of the black, but not of the white. I'm going to apply the second coat to all of them. You can kind of see on the middle finger where I was testing for dryness, and that's why there's sort of a light spot there. So here's two coats of each. As you can see, the white probably needs a third, but the black definitely doesn't, so I'm just going to stick with the two layers. And we definitely need to add some art on here, so I'm going to stamp with spiced orange. This is a new coffee themed plate from Maniology, and I just love it. I think it's so cute. This isn't exactly a review for the Aqua Topper versus the Smudge Free Top Coats. However, I did want to try them out in the name of fairness, so I alternated each finger so the middle have the smudge free and the outer two have the aqua topper and then I topped all of it with the same orly gloss top coat. This is the finished manicure. You can see that the stamping covered up the problems with the white and there's no visible difference between the top coats. So it's been four days and I lived my life as normal. I didn't give these any special treatment and I just took a really hot shower and I covered my cuticles in cuticle oil and now I'm going to try to peel off these peely base. Like I said, I used one coat of the black peely on a prior occasion and I was not able to get it to lift whatsoever. It really just seemed like regular nail polish to me. So I thought this would have a better result with two coats and perhaps even with three coats, it might've even been a better result. But you can really see how difficult this is and you can probably tell that it's starting to lift up part of my nail plate and it doesn't feel great. I think the white base was similar. I didn't really notice a difference between the black and the white as far as how easy it was to peel them off. So yeah, these parts at the tips were just like really stuck on there. And you can see I'm starting to damage my nails.
I was trying to see if I could coax any of this to peel off, but I didn't have any luck, so I gave up. Yeah, so as you can see, my nail plate is really damaged. I really don't think these peeled off at all. I'm pretty disappointed in this product. And uh, here's my attempt at removing it with acetone, which also didn't go that great. So like I said, this was my first experience using peelies, except for the first time that I tried out the black. Um, and maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I'm not understanding what it's all about, but I really didn't have a good time with this product. I don't like how it left my nails. You can really just see how I ripped everything off. So I'm not sure what the advantage is of either of these, uh, but that was my experience and I hope you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. You can leave any of your questions in the comments section. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thanks.